Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to see how we can run correlation coefficients with p-values and interpret the results using Excel. So here I have two continuous variables, year, year of birth and income or age and income. I want to correlate these two variables. So there are different ways. The first way I can just go to data and then I will go to data analysis. And here I will choose correlation. Uh, but if I choose correlation here, as you are going to see, I will need to specify the uh, input range. So these are the uh, input. And here I need to specify columns and labels in the first columns. And here I can just uh, click, click output range and I will specify it here and click OK. So what will happen is that we got the correlation coefficient of year of birth and income, which is negative correlation. But this is without the p-value and this is the problem. I need the p-value, so I have different ways. I can do it from insert, then go to recommended charts and then choose scatter plots like this and then and the scatter plots i will add elements and go to trend line i will just click click trend line and then uh, edit the trend line by double clicking it so i have this menu here and i will display the r squared value on the chart display the equation and here is the equation so but this is for regression as you know uh, but the, the, the other way is to uh, go to insert or rather we go to um, data then first need to select the data here go to the data menu and then go to data analysis and here we need to choose regression and click OK and I need to specify the first range as the X variable, which is this one. And the second range as the Y variable. And I need to take labels because I already specified them. Here I can just put output range and I will specify output range here, for instance. And then if I need to add normality plots, residuals, etc., I can add them here and click OK. So what will happen is that there will be some output here with the multiple R, the R square, the adjusted R square. So what interests us here is the uh, R square or rather the multiple R, which is this one. And here the P value, which is this one. Since this is just uh, a two variable model, so simple linear regression, the, the same p-value here is here and it is below 0 0.05 0 0.005 or 0 0.001 even but not 0 0.01 so 0 0.05 uh, so this is the alpha level and this is the p-value so this means that the correlation between age and income is statistically significant in the sense, in the sense that the older the respondents are, the more income they, they earn. So this is in brief how the correlation coefficient can be run using Excel. If you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below. See you soon. Bye for now.